Holmes, I won't be able to join you. I promised to visit a patient today. It's all right, Watson. I think that I can handle this alone. Spectacles are unpopular among thugs. I don't want to arouse suspicion. I'd better wear a shabby hat. Stay where you are. What are you doing here, and where is Sherlock Holmes? Calm down, Watson. Take deep breaths now. It's me. Oh, thank God, Holmes. I can't get used to your disguises. Thank you, Watson. That means I am ready to go. A map of London and the surrounding... Who are you? What's your name? My name is Nigel. I'm here to open the locks. Talented, eh? Let's see. Go inside the marquee and show yourself to Charles Foley. And I'd highly advise you not to trick him. Got that? I've got it. So, everything is here, just as you asked. And what about the money? Some of the barrels are wet. Transportation issues, it couldn't be helped. Whatever. We'll be here after midnight to pick up the supplies. I want to be paid first. No. You'll be paid after we make the transfer, as I said. Right. I hope that no one saw you. The police are on the lookout. Of course not. I'm a professional. Glad to hear it. Be ready for tonight, then. This printing press is old, but still quite capable of printing hundreds of pages per day. From lambs into lions, those are words of encouragement and defiance. That's a picture of a contemporary gentleman wearing a Robin Hood hat. Interesting. This poster was clearly made to fire up rebellion amongst the people. Hmm. There are enough posters to paste across half of London's walls.
This wooden barrel is damaged. It is difficult to say what is inside. There is a spot on this barrel that was intentionally painted out. The crest of the Honorable Artillery Company. Could it be gunpowder? I need to be sure. Judging by the fractions and the scent, I can confirm that it is, in fact, gunpowder. The barrels are roughly clustered. It seems as though they were brought here in a hurry. Powder kegs, a printing press, and a great many blank papers. All of this was stolen by the Merry Men quite recently. And these poster samples. I am quite sure it is not a coincidence. The Merry Men are planning some sort of sabotage. Stop right here. Who are you? Are you Charles Foley? Maybe. They say that I can open any door. Do they now? We'll see her lock near the chains on a table over there. Open that. Well, they're right. What's your name? Nigel Shirley, from York. Ah, Nigel from York. Never heard anything about you. How'd you hear about me? It's a long story. I met your brother, Vincent the Butcher Foley in prison. He told me all about his betrayal, and all about you. Before I was released, he told me that you might find a job for me one day, and pay me some money for me craft. Well, he died. Seven days ago, in prison. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. That's all right. The traitor has paid the blood price for it. And you'll do the job anyway, because I need a talented look picker. I know just where to search for his legacy. It's all about the Hellenistic treasures, isn't it? Osh, you fool. Now, listen up. 
You'll come with us tonight, and you better mind yourself. Us? Wait, who's coming then? Billy, Jack and me. And what will I get for that? We'll share the loot. The one you seem to know about. Right. Wait for us at the abandoned manor house on a corner of Ledbrook Grove and Kensington Park Road at midnight. Deal. Here I am at the manor. Somewhere inside it are the Hellenistic treasures. This lock is quite old. It shouldn't be much of a challenge. I need to find where the safe is hidden and lockpick it.